girl Abriana, and as you can tell by the title today i will be giving you all some tips on how you can pass your real estate exam so i live in the state of georgia so today i'm kind of going to be talking specifically about georgia but a lot of these tips can also apply for any state honestly truly believe me okay so for a brief overview i did take my real estate exam twice so the first time i took it i failed obviously <laughs> And then the second time I took it, I passed. And I feel like it is all because of these things that I used the second go around when I was studying for the exam. So first things first, the first thing that I did when I was studying was I reviewed my course material. So I took my real estate course through Real Estate Express, which is an online site now known as Calabri Real Estate. So the first thing I did when I started studying for my exam is I really went through all of the course material and I just kind of broke it down because they did have like study guides for each chapter so i printed out the chapters and i did some highlighting and i really just reread all of that material that i wasn't super confident on now it was a lot a lot of material so make sure when you're taking the course itself for the first go round, read that information and try to get it stuck in your brain because the last thing you want to do is when it's time to go take the state and national portion of the exam you kind of forget everything you just kind of breeze through the course because this is is the meat of everything that's going to be on the exam so it's just really important that you kind of get it the first time and really focus on the information and just learn it when you're first taking the course now the second thing that i did was i went on youtube and everyone was just talking about prep agent so i'm like okay who is this you know what i mean so i found prep agent here on youtube as you can see and he has some amazing amazing videos and I feel like this also played a big part in me passing my real estate exam. So what I would say is the first time I took my exam, I did step number one and then I did step number two. Now, when I started using Prep Agent, I thought that was all I was going to need. But one thing that I would say about Prep Agent is that it does help you with the real estate exam, the state and national one, but it definitely just focuses on definitions, which is super important, but it's not all that you're going to need to pass. Come on now, dog come on man so when it came to knowing the definitions i feel like that did help me because i was able to recognize certain words and know like okay this question may be saying this and then these answer choices has this but i know what this definition of this word and the question means so i could kind of scratch out some of these answer choices and kind of like figure out what's the best one now with that being said step one and step two was very beneficial but i do feel like if you just use those two steps you may not pass the exam unless you just have like photogenic memory because it's a lot of information <laughs> but step number three is going to be that gets you to that finish line so now we are here at step number three and that is going to be taking a lot a lot a lot of practice question exam so you might be asking okay where i'm going to be finding these exams like where are they so number one so since i did take my real estate course online they did provide me with like some practice questions just to get ready for the exam like i said i took real estate express they're always having like promos going on where you don't have to pay the full price so i kind of like took advantage of that and they did supply like a lot of different practice questions so that was one way that i was able to like practice and get ready for the course number two like i said prep agent he also did like practice exams in a sense on you YouTube. So I will look at his YouTube videos when he's going over practice questions with certain students of his and I will literally answer the questions. So I'll just play the YouTube video while I'm getting ready and I'll just like be answering the questions, trying to answer the questions before the actual person on the video answered them. So I knew that, okay, I know what this information means. Now, for the most important thing, this is what I think really, 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 really helped me pass the real estate exam. Because like I told you, I failed the first time, but after I incorporated this, this is what I feel like got me to the finish line and passing and getting my real estate life. And that leads me into step number four. This here, blue book off of Amazon. This book right here is what I think is responsible for me passing my real estate exam. So they have this blue book on Amazon. I'll put a picture of it somewhere on here, but it's fairly cheap. I think it was like maybe 15 to $25. I cannot remember, but it was worth 
every single penny let me tell you and one thing that i do love about this too which is why i said this these tips will help for any state that you're located in is because they have this blue book for every state i believe if i'm not mistaken and one thing that i well there are several things i like about this book not just one thing what do you mean by that one thing is that it has all the information that you need that was also in your course, but it's kind of simplified. So it's not like just a whole lot of information. It just kind of give you the meat of everything that you need to know for the exam. You still need to go back to your course materials just to make sure that you're getting all of this information because the more information you know, the better. But with this book, it definitely kind of just summarizes everything that you need to know that you took in your course. Now, a second thing that I love about this book is that it had a lot, a lot, a lot of exams, a lot of different practice exams. Specifically, it had a state exam. So it had a state exam and then it had 13, yeah, 13 chapter exams. So each chapter had an exam that went with it. And what I liked about these questions, both the national exam questions and the state specific questions is that the questions were extremely challenging, you guys. Like, huh? I'm not even joking. So when I was taking these practice questions, I literally took them, I took one every day, maybe two two or one every day. And I would be like, oh my gosh, I keep getting these questions wrong. But let me tell you, get the questions wrong. It's better to get the questions wrong when you're practicing versus when you're going to take the real exam that you pay your good hard earned money for, <laughs> that you don't wanna pass, that you don't wanna fail, my bad. Make sure, you know, get the questions wrong. Don't just guess and move on. If you're guessing, go back and figure out what the answer is and why that's the answer. That's super duper important. And that's what I loved about this book is that I was getting a lot of these questions wrong to the point where when I went to go take my test the day before, the night before I went to go take my test, I was, you know, doing some practice questions and I literally started crying because I had got like 30 questions wrong <laughs> and i was just like oh my gosh i'm gonna fail i'm gonna fail but let me tell you you will pass if you get this book i promise you this is not affiliated anyway but if they want to send me some money go right ahead cash app is in the bio no i'm just kidding <laughs> But yes, like I said, do these practice questions and this will definitely help you pass the exam. So I'll leave a brief overview right here, just stating again what I did to help me pass my real estate exam. And if you pass your exam, make sure you leave a comment and just let me know how useful these tips were for you. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to comment and let me know how I can help you. I'm always here, happy to help. And I'll see you all next time on my next video. Bye.